and what is up everybody here's a video an example um actually real quick for the people who clicked on it and aren't really don't really care about the tutorial i'm like almost done the ghost recon part of the community montage um and yeah i'm getting into the cod part soon i'm like around 50 seconds in um so yeah um but yeah for the tutorial i'm going to give you an example of what you're not supposed to do right here and then after this an example of what you're supposed to do so he's bobbing around moving his head and then a panel decides to appear and as you can see the panel is in front of the soldier when really it should be behind the soldier and uh, the soldier should be in the foreground but it's not and it's looking all um retarded so whoops sorry um but yeah here's an example of how it's supposed to look oh. I, I think i clicked the wrong button oh i didn't even click a button okay here we go okay oh shit my bad there we go so this time he's bobbing around again and then another panel decides to appear but this time he's behind the panel and uh, yeah it's not that difficult it's time consuming but um it's easier to get yeah it's not difficult to do anyways um so let's get into it so let's go in this comp here and then go to the very um go to the very start of the hologram and then go to actually just move move up to the um where the hologram will interact with the thing first with the soldier so um right here and then um zoom in on your soldier or your object or whatever you have um put the resolution on full so you get a we're masking so put it on full so you get a good mask um click g uh to pull out your pen tool and mask around where the panel is going to interact with the soldier i'm just going to do a rough job because i don't yeah it takes really long and i don't really want to take my time masking it's just for tutorial so yeah so you guys get the idea of what you're supposed to do the head shape is kind of weird so, um, throws me off sometimes maybe it's just the helmet but uh yeah so i'm just gonna do this real quick i'm kind of off a little there but oh well um so once you get to the part where uh he's done interacting or whatever where like if it doesn't interact with it, it doesn't matter so you just have to zoom out or whatever and close the mask and then the hologram is going to disappear and then you just click m to open the mask properties um it should already be open but yeah and you could either subtract or invert i'm just going to subtract for this case and to see a little clearer in case you need to you can uh, click on this thing right here toggle mask and shape visibility to remove the yellow stuff so you can see a little more clearer um, and yeah, so click F and then feather it by two in case like you like you don't want your fed um, the mask to be really really sharp, and then click F again to remove it. A random save. Sorry, I'm just so used to clicking the save button whenever I do something, because I hate when my After Effects crashes. And yeah, uh, so what you want to do is click M to open the mask path now and click on the keyframe thing here. You click on that, you move up a frame and then this mask is gonna move and then you just have to zoom in um, to the proper spot <laughs> and then you wanna click V for the move tool double click on one of the vertices and then move the mask up and then if you see here now his head is above the thing and it doesn't have to be really really accurate because you're gonna be doing this frame by frame so it's gonna take really long and if it's a really long video then I don't uh, a really long part I don't suggest it if it's under 10 seconds it's like the max but it would take long unless there's hardly any movement um, or no movement at all which would be like easy just one frame but um, yeah so you wanna depending on how long how much movement there is you wanna keep doing this double click move up and it's like a pattern and if like over here you see it like the soldier just starts to move and it's not really matching up well with the soldier anymore um, you can double click away to remove the full mask moving the whole thing at once click away one more time and when you get these small circles you can begin to move them individually so like you can move it around like this um, and yeah so you wanna keep it with your soldier um, so it stays somewhat accurate over here it's kinda off too depending on how much movement there is it's gonna take longer so if you could get a clip with less movement 
that would save you a lot of time. Uh, it's just stuff you have to think about when you're recording the cinematic. And if you need to add any vertices, just click G and then G until you get the little pen tool with the plus, and then uh, add vertices wherever you need to. I'm going to add like two here. Two! Okay, After Effects isn't cooperating. It's okay. Um, and then you just go back to your pen tool. You can like click on G to scroll between all of these in case you didn't know. So yeah, um, once you got those you can use the uh, added vertices to make it more accurate. And then you want to move on, double click, move up, um, next frame, double click, move up, until like sometimes depending on how much movement you have you could go by two frames and then do it but um, yeah it begins to get a little less accurate and as you can see here I'll show you I'll play it back real quick it's only been like four frames I'm not gonna actually like uh, run preview it or anything but um, I'll show you I'll scroll through the timeline and show you what I have so far so um, if I go like this and then you can see for like the last four frames um, his head is above the actual panel and um, you just have to keep doing that like for where did I stop uh, it's actually pretty accurate okay he's staying still here so it should be fine I purposely so I didn't have to motion track anything made the soldier stay still in this part um, I don't know it was just it would save me a lot of time because I don't want to 2d motion track anything or open up some sort of area check or waste a lot of time but at the end here again you could see that uh, it begins to get distorted so you want to come back here add a keyframe because you don't want it to drag along from the last keyframe the entire time so you want to move up and then zoom in a little um, open this thing up again so you can see the actual mask and I'm not going to be too accurate for this tutorial but when you're doing your actual video you might want to it's for your own benefits move up a frame and do the same thing you notice how I said thing? <laughs> okay, <laughs> sorry. Um, and yeah, you just continue to do this. And then, yeah. Because the mask is going to move with your hologram, not your soldier. Unless there's a way if you, like, parent it with... Let's, if you parent it with your soldier, then it wouldn't move on its own, would it? No. I, I don't know. Maybe there's a way to... Um, get it to move with your soldier. Um, I don't think you can motion track a mask though. You might be able to. I'm not too sure. If you put it on an adjustment layer, maybe, or a null object. But yeah, so. Yeah. Um, do you just want to keep doing this? And there's only like a couple frames left. Let's just do this really quickly. Uh, yeah, that's good enough. And then it doesn't react with the soldier anymore, so you should be fine. And if you scroll through this now, if I. I'm going to put it to like third resolution so it ran previews a little faster. And um, you can do it with like behind a wall or something. If you want like text to appear once the cinematic passes the wall. Um, any situation where there's something you add into the scene and you want it to be a part of the scene and there's a lot of movement and you want it to interact with the objects, this would work fine. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to ram preview it one more time for you. As you can see. His head is in front of the thing and it's gone. Just like the thing on this one here. Same thing here. And yeah, so that's about it for the tutorial. Um, if you liked it, feel free to like it. <laughs> if you favored it, feel free to favorite it. But yeah, um, it's been um, it's been blur. I'm out. Peace.